Previously on Moe's Rants. He got hard and his head got knocked off. <laughs> they hit his ass so quick right when he said that, man, my kill. Pow. Yeah, we ain't going to finish that sentence. Not today. Look at him laughing around, joking. Look, you can tell the difference. European. Ha, ha, ha. This is all fun and games. Negroes from Chicago that know, nigga, the minute you start laughing, them guns get to shooting. My boy's a CBI. CBI versus the Flynn knockoffs. Look at that. Man, I'm talking about it like Mortal Kombat. Tommy turned around and saved him. Now he on the ground looking at the roof of the church. Preacher telling the truth and it hurts. <laughs> Dre said Simon had to go off that. Yeah. Talking about them, my nigga. Hey, Simon, bro, what are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? We don't talk like that over here. Now, look at this. First of all, Simon shouldn't have been out there. Simon, <laughs> Simon should not have been out there with this damn cast on. Like, he got one hand that you can't do a damn thing with. So he holding it up like this. And you shoot. Now you got to try to reload. You got to, hey, uh, hey, uh, can, can, you, can you help me? Can you, can, you, can you cock this for me? Tommy looking at him like, bro, he gone, bro. He gone. Tommy got the big ass Tim's on. My boy Diamond got the J's on. I think uh, Janara has some Tim's on. But look, look at Vic. Vic got on dress shoes. You ain't getting done in dress shoes. We all remember being kids. I know all my boys remember being kids. We put on them dress shoes and be in the kitchen floor sliding side to side like, oh, look at me. I'm tap dancing. You ain't got no grip on that. And you know walking on concrete and them, you know what I'm saying, them soft bottoms. <laughs> Your ass be about to be slipping all over the place. You're like, damn, bro, it's a little slip out here. Yeah, man, you got on dress shoes. What are them, Georgia Omani? <laughs> I'm going out there. You know what shoes you got to wear if you want to do these kind of missions? You got to go buy them dad shoes. You got to go buy an all, pair, uh, all black pair of dad shoes. You know what I'm saying? Either Nike, preferably go get Skechers or something. You don't ever want to do any of these type of missions in any kind of designer. Why? Because it's easier to trace down designer clothes than it is to trace down like some Skechers or something. You know what I'm saying? More people buy Skechers in Nikes than they do you showing up in these Gucci loafers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you showing up in these all black 11s. Where'd you buy them off of StockX? Because you've been in jail for 15 years and they ain't been re-released. So I know you spend about five to 600 on those, Diamond. We can easily go on StockX, go, we can go look up all that. Yeah, you want to wear something that is the norm. You know what I'm saying? You want to go get all your shit from Walmart and pay cash for it with a hood on in your head down. And don't use your car you don't want your license place to pop up in the, you know, saying the Walmart's got the damn uh, parking security with the cameras on it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just in case, you know what I'm saying? You guys get into this nonsense. You want to cover all your tracks. You don't want to go buy a hundred uh, pair of Tims for $150. They're like, okay, who bought these all black Tims? They're about a size nine. Okay, yeah, let me go look these up. Yeah, Neek, but even then, you don't want them all black Air Forces either. You're not going to go spend $120 on some Air Forces just to go, you know what I'm saying, commit a crime, and then you have to get rid of the Air Forces. Nah. The point of committing these crimes most of the time is for money. What are they doing here? Trying to get the pipeline and make money. You don't want to spend money, you know what I'm saying, on getting stuff that you got to get rid of. Go get the cheap shit. Go get the cheap stuff. Go to the... Hey, go to Goodwill. Go in there, drop that cash off. Get your whole outfit out of that thing. Go, boom, boom. Do that. And you see what you see what Janara did at the end of the episode. That's all you gotta do. That's why you don't want to buy nothing that's worthwhile. Who said Birdman look uh looks? Babe, man, you get them big heavy things, they gonna know it was you. Ain't no one buying them raggedy ass lugs. <laughs> You go buy some damn Birdman lugs. they am like, first of all, whatever store is selling this, the FBI, the CIA, they need to go kick in that store's door if they're stealing some 
uh, if they still selling some damn Birdman lugs, where'd you go get them at? Oh man, it's some shoe over here, some shoe store, like shoe heaven, shoe heaven. It's called shoe heaven because all <laughs> all trash shoes go there to die. That's why you got them damn Birdman lugs out there for ten ninety nine. Talking about you get these Birdman lugs for ten ninety nine. We even throw in a hoodie. Like nigga, I don't want that hoodie. Got this big ass bird with a little picture of Birdman in the corner rubbing his hand. Like no, nah, I don't want that shit. Put them lugs up. <laughs> you got them lugs on. As soon as you come out the store, niggas is clowning you. They don't care. You ain't even gotta have them on. They just see like, hey man, is that a lugs box you got? Oh yeah, man. Them this the Birdman. It's like nigga, what are you getting them for? You about to commit a murder? You got a hey, you see anybody go buy some lugs? Yeah, I normally don't snitch on people, but goddamn, it's a nigga buying lugs. I know he up to no good. Where are you guys located? Just just trust me. He's at the Sneaker Heaven on Thirteenth and uh, Olive in Chicago. Yes, I said Chicago. Uh, could you describe this person? It's a black man. Oh yeah, y'all gonna need the feds up here because this nigga got black lugs on. No, we got to get the police because <laughs> you shopping in shoe heaven. I, hey, I'm a frugal man. I'm not cheap, but I'm not shopping in no fucking shoe heaven. No, 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 no. I'm not shopping in shoe heaven. I'm going to tell like online and get like retail me not and then going like Puma or Adidas or something. I'm not going to shoe, uh, shoe heaven. Shoe heaven is where the good shoes go to die and where the bad shoes, they go once they're made. You know what I'm saying? You in there. Yeah, let me get those lugs and the eight. Oh, nigga, we only got these in the 12. All right, I'll take that. Y'all got them lug socks, too? No, we don't. But we got these over here. We got these, you know what I'm saying, these champion shocks. They're like, damn, how y'all got them in here? But y'all got these lugs in here. Man, it's a long story. It's back when champion went out of business, you know what I'm saying? It was trash. And then they just rebranded and made regular champion sweaters $120. Like, what? (laughs) Uh, now, Kervin, I'm not hating on no logos. I'm not hating on logos. This shirt right here is from H&M. You know what I'm saying? No logo. You know what I'm saying? These sweats, uh, they poop, but never mind. Never mind. But yeah, man, let me get let me get back to this, man. Y'all got the damn <laughs> shoe heaven. Jimmy on the beat, boy. 